Finally, there's Soarin, a ride which originally opened at Disney's California Adventure under the name Soarin' Over California. It's the same exact ride, but I guess they shortened the title to Soarin' here because people don't like to be reminded that there is a California with a theme park that costs less and offers more than Magic Kingdom. Gansel, you're trying my patience! Ugh, <sighs> fine. I'm sorry. Would, would you feel better if I badmouthed California for a while? Uh, not really. I'd prefer it if you didn't complain at well, all. Well, here we go. I've only been to California Adventure once, and it was in the first year of its existence. I hear it's improved since then, with the focus on adding more Pixar characters and things like that, but in the year I visited, it was... weak. It had maybe three good rides, one of which was a generic rapid river ride that you could find at any amusement park. The main good ride was Soarin' Over California. You know how when you were a kid, the only place to see an IMAX movie was at the museum, and they were always about the evolution of scuba technology or something like that? Well, Disney decided that a huge screen that envelops your entire range of vision wasn't gimmicky enough for an educational film, so they added a ride element, where you're suspended in fake glider-type seats in front of the screen that tilt, turn, and spray various smells at you. Although, as I recall, in its opening year, the aroma technology had not yet been perfected, and we were usually just treated to one strong smell lingering throughout the whole ride, usually either pine or oranges. The ride was integral to California Adventure because, well, what else were you going to do? But here in Epcot, you have more options for rides. And yet this one is still extremely popular, running out of fast passes very early in the day and having an interminably long line. Still, it's a good ride. It's worth doing at least once. And I've always said that I'd listen to Patrick Warburton if he read the phone book, so I'll take giving the pre-flight safety instructions. Nice work, pal. 